the No Fade channel. Checking in and finally, finally, Jonathan has come back to Home Gym Reviews. We've got Coop, we've got Baseman Brandon Allen Thrall, Thor, The Mountain. We've got playoffs, playoffs, and so much more. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome aboard on this Home Gym Week in Review. You guessed it, I cover everything that's happened in the Home Gym community. I also talk about sports, some pop culture, and bring all of us Home Gym introverts together. So why did I have a video last week? It's simple. Not much is going on. We had Home Gym Con, I talked about that to death. We knew it was gonna be a banger of event, and of course it was. But in terms of YouTube videos, not much is coming out. People aren't putting out much content, and most of it, it ain't that good. A lot of it's regurgitated. Now it's easy for me to point fingers and say that others aren't creating awesome content, but what have I put out? And since the last Home Gym Weekly review, I interviewed Jake from Garage Gym Experiment. He is the chief cook and bottle washer for Home Gym Con, and that was fun. That's also the beginning of a brand new five question series that I'm hoping to kind of expand on in the weeks ahead. And I also talked about getting rid of my dad bod. That's right. You know how it is. I had that winter bulk, took it a bit too far, like most of us. And now I'm trying to get ready for summer. So I talked about that just a bit. I'm keeping, keeping these videos short. That one was six minutes long. So my favorite video out of the last five was basically going over my personal morning routine. It's something that I've crafted over the past few years. And Basically, I got it locked in. At least it's right for me. There is no perfect morning routine out there. If you haven't seen this video, hey, give it a look, check it out. Even Coop from Garage Gym Reviews is having a hard time creating new content. This is a power rack that he is reviewing. He already reviewed it. It's actually just an extra attachment to the same power rack. For those of you who may remember, he took like 800 pounds on a barbell and just literally dropped it on one of the cheapest power racks out there. And it held up proving what we already know to be true. You don't need super expensive equipment to actually work out. Now I am a massive fan of Coop and Garage Gym Reviews, right? I'm the first to watch his videos, the first to comment, give it a like, smash that subscribe button, all that good stuff. But did we really need a 15 minute and 39 second video about a budget power rack that he already reviewed and now it has a plate loaded pulley system attached to it? I think this video could have been eight or nine minutes and we would have gotten all the information we realistically needed. Unfortunately, YouTube makes creators make longer videos. The reason being is they typically will crush, will bury videos that are short in length. And YouTube basically pushes for longer watch times. And the best way to get longer watch times is to put out longer videos. I have been putting out shorter videos because honestly, I just don't want to include fluff and puff in my videos that I know many of you are just hitting the fast forward button and skipping over. In a previous video, we talked about Thor, the mountain from Game of Thrones, literally a mountain of a man. He's obviously had the deadlift world record at one time, won a number of strongman competitions, so many great records he has held or competed for in the past. And recently he has been trying to tackle the world record for squat, bench, and deadlift in one meet. And unfortunately, I have to say he was on the juicy juice. He was going after it, getting some big numbers. You can see he was just, just, just tackling crazy feats of strength for uh, himself, looking like he was putting on all the weight, all the strength, looking good. And ultimately, when you, you know, when you really push that threshold, bad things can happen. It looks as though he has a pec tear. Um, all signs point to it. I think last I'd heard he was trying to get an MRI scheduled to confirm, to see how bad the damage was, if he would need surgery. And it is a shame. We obviously never want to see anything bad happen to a competitor or an individual. And clearly, you know, if you want to go to big heights, you got to take some big sacrifices. And uh, fingers crossed that he'll be able to bounce back from this successfully. Time out. I need to give all of you a massive thank you for using my affiliate links. When you use those links, it does support future content and all proceeds go right back into the channel and it supports my ice addiction. When you use those links, let me know so that I can send you a small token 
of my appreciation. Now it's easy for me to throw stones at other creators and claim that they're not doing a bang up job, but there have been some fantastic videos released in the past few weeks. And I wanna highlight a few of my favorites. Number one, Alan Thrall. If you're not familiar with him, he's got almost a million subscribers. He is an ex-Marine maniac. This dude just gets it done and he just gives the God's honest truth. And so his latest video was how to get jacked at Planet Fitness. And Alan tells us, frankly, what we already know to be true. You don't need crazy equipment. You don't need some $400 a month gym membership. You don't need some Fugazi fitness app. You just need to put your head down, get after it, and just put in the work. Big fan of his. A lot of his uh, content is so well done and very well thought out. And honestly, it's just some good, old-fashioned, honest talk and discussion about training and not just getting in your own way, not getting in your own head. We have a garage gym tour from none other than Emma Larson. If you're not familiar with her, she was the 2022 CrossFit Rookie of the Year. And we are gonna check out her home gym. This video perfectly, three minutes and 13 seconds. And that's probably all we need, I guess, I'm assuming. Now, I haven't watched this video first and foremost. Um, I will tell you straight away, I'm assuming it's a CrossFit gym, it's all meat and potatoes. It is all barbells and plates, and there's no fanfare, there's no fancy machines. It's all about just getting after it. And here's her cardio section. A lot of cardio equipment jam-packed into a small amount of space. The ski erg, which I want to really try out. I've heard nothing but horrible things about how difficult it is. Uh, the echo bike, which I love. I am very impressed that she has crammed so much cardio equipment into such a small garage gym. It makes perfect sense for her being crossfitter. They incorporate so much uh, cardiovascular exercise into their weightlifting routines and programming. But that's a pretty small space to have four or five pieces of cardio equipment. You can see she's got the ergonomic dumbbells, which I'm not a big fan of, but they are very practical and they do have a great price point. You can usually get those nowadays for like almost a dollar a pound delivered. Now this is one of the pieces I wish I could fit into my home gym. It's just the floor plan for it is so massive for a few of the exercises that I would actually use it for. Titan Fitness has finally unleashed the beast. They have been dormant this whole 2023 and finally released a new piece of equipment, a rack mounted leg curl and extension at a reasonable $449. I don't know when they became the more expensive company out there, but it seems that way. This is exactly what it sounds like. It is a mountable leg extension and leg curl attachment. For many of us in a home gym, we want those leg machines that we miss from a local gym, but they are super expensive and they take up a ton of floor space. Coming in at 85 pounds, this thing is heavy, which is probably why it has such a high price tag on it. My biggest issue with these is not if they work. Many people who get them realize that they they missed them, that they're glad that they got them. My biggest issue is how do you store them? Because obviously when this is in use, great, it's sitting on your power rack. But when you wanna to go to do squats or bench, you gotta move it out of your power rack and it's not flat. It's not some, something you can simply hang on a wall or lie down on the floor. It is awkward, it is bulky, it's 85 pounds, and you're probably gonna need your its own shelf for storage. Now I, you're telling me, okay, I can store it on my power rack when it's not in use. Yeah, that's great, but when you're not doing leg day, you're gonna want, you're not going to want this taking up real estate in and on your power rack. Let me know in the comments below if you miss leg machines in your home gym. The results are finally in on my latest YouTube poll where I asked you who you wanted to see interviewed by me on my latest YouTube series. And by far and large, it was, of course, Coop from Garage Gym Reviews with 42%. Now, Coop, he subscribes to my channel. I know he watches these weekly reviews. So, Coop, hit me up in the DMs and we'll figure out a time that works for both of us. Coming in second place was none other than Basement Brandon. The man, the myth, the legend, the person that probably does the most in terms of helping out the home gym community. I've already reached out to him and begged him to be a part of my five-question interview series. And he said, of course, sure. Is there another person in the home Home gym multiverse that does more for the community than Basement Brandon. As a friendly reminder, if you haven't hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, you may want to because YouTube, for whatever reason, loves to just bury most of my content.
A few months ago, we discussed the brand new release of Rogue Fitness's newest Velocidor dip attachment. And we discussed and discussed and discussed if they copied Mutant Metals. There was a bit of a backlash. So I want to give you a tad bit of the backstory and talk about the new outcome of that situation. Mutant Metals, small company. They had, for a number of years now, an ultimate dip attachment. It is a dip attachment for your power rack that allows you to adjust the width of the handles. You can customize the color and you can customize the actual handles and knurling on those handles. And there's usually a three month lead time because it's such a small company doing such high level of customization. Rogue Fitness releases the Velocidor, which looks at first glance, exactly like mutant metals. They did try to put a patent on this because they claim that it can now, you can move the handle angle up and down so that you can target different parts of your chest and triceps, which in my personal opinion is a bit more overthinking on your dips than anyone should be doing, but that's besides the point. Now, was this an, a copy of mutant metals? You know, the more I think about it, the more I'm going to say no. Number one, they filed the patent. So clearly there was enough difference in their design versus previous versions of dip stations and dip attachments that they felt they can actually get a patent on this. Now, they did put knurling on these handles, which is reminiscent of mutant metals. But in today's home gym multiverse, every home gym equipment manufacturer is putting knurling on absolutely everything. If it's a handle of any sort, they're putting knurling on it. They're adding knurling on top of the knurling. So there was a lot of backlash in the home gym community. Everyone, of course, wants to rally around the smaller company because we all want to support local small businesses. And that's exactly what Mutant Metals is. Well, Mutant Metals did the right thing. They didn't jump to conclusions. They didn't start screaming and crying. They talked to Rogue Fitness and they came to an agreement. Rogue Fitness, like they have done in the past with some of the other smaller manufacturers like Kabuki, is going to be releasing a Mutant Metals Ultimate Dip Attachment in the future. Why is this good? It means that your lead times on these Ultimate Dip Attachments is going to be a lot less. It also means that every time you buy one of those from Rogue Fitness, Mutant Metals should get some money off of that purchase. Sports! The Celtics made it to round two of the NBA basketball playoffs. The Bruins, the great Boston Bruins, they're in the playoffs. They've got the record for the most wins in a season, but let's see how far they can go in the playoffs. Currently tied one to one in the series, but I don't like the fact that they lost a game at home, so I am a bit nervous. And the Boston Red Sox, they're leading the pack in losses. They are doing absolutely horrible this year. And who the heck knows what's going on with the Patriots when it comes to the draft. If you made it this far in the video, you and I are like posting your ice baths on social media and clout chasing. We're like fake Amazon reviews and overseas equipment. We are officially best friends. Hey, we're like Budweiser and really bad marketing. Thanks for making it all the way to the end. Hit the subscribe button and as usual, don't save anything for the trip back.